I watched the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Milwaukee Bucks last night. The Spurs ultimately losing the game in the final seconds, 125-121. But that wasn't the real story. The real story was the performance of both of its stars, Victor Wimbignana, the rookie, and rookie of the year candidate for the San Antonio Spurs, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the former league MVP, okay, former NBA Finals MVP, champion with the Milwaukee Bucks. They put on a show. So much so that we should be salivating for these brothers to meet as often as possible. 44 points on 19 for 28 shooting for Giannis alone with 14 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. In the case of women, Giannis, 27 points, 9 rebounds, an assist, a steal, 5 block shots, and only 26 minutes of play. He, he was pissed off about his, his you know, his, his minutes. I don't blame women, Giannis, for feeling that way. Brother just came in the league, just turned 20 years of age, and before he's had a chance to pass gas, they are already protecting him by managing his minutes. He's clearly the best player on the San Antonio Spurs right now. The behind-the-back dribble along with the dunk on Brooke Lopez, that was something special. The block on Giannis was something special. Wimben Giannis got skills. The brothers got skills. I like him a lot. He's a treasure and a tribute to the NBA. They need to stop lying by listening to 7-3, though. He's 7-5. I stood next to the brother. I came up to his damn belly. He's seven five. Trust me on that. He ain't seven three. He ain't seven foot. He's seven feet five. But he's got ball handling skills. He's got a J. He can create his own shot off the dribble. He can pull up. He can roll off screens and shoot J's. He can spot up and shoot threes. The brother is special. But having said that, to me, he wasn't the story. I'll talk about him compared to Chet Holmgren another day as it pertains to who's going to be the rookie of the year because right now I've got Chet Holmgren ahead of him because he's a major contributor on a winning team out west whereas the Spurs are just not good. But that doesn't take anything away from Wimbignana at all. But he still wasn't the story to me last night as fantastic as he was and as much as we should look forward to seeing him in the future. What made the story last night was Giannis. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there are moments where we see it's not just about your skills. It's about this. That's it. It's about this. When you embrace the challenge, to me, nothing, nothing does that better than basketball. Maybe there's a few things. I mean, if you want to take pugilistic sports into consideration like UFC, MMA, or, 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 or boxing, okay, I get that part. But I'm talking about in terms of a team sport, I look at basketball that way because regardless of the other components around you, your willingness as the star, as the headliner, as the big boy, as, as meeting the new, the, the, the candidate for rookie of the year in Wimbledon, him knowing you showed up into his house, a packed house coming to watch you play. You go up against Giannis, and you a young blood that's going right at him. And Giannis is like, you must have forgot who the hell I am. And attacking you, driving down the lane and dunking on his, with his left hand, trying to attack you again and dunk on you before Wimbignana blocked the shot and snuffed it right back into his face. And him going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the fourth quarter. This is what makes NBA action. Fantastic. Because it's what we want to see from the stars. On far too many occasions, even when they show out on the court against one another, you see far too many occasions where the stars don't want to comment about what somebody else said. Even if it's somebody that, that is potentially on their level that's going right at them. I remember when Kobe Bryant had his nose messed up by Dwayne Wade in the All-Star game and everybody was looking forward to Kobe Bryant going up against Dwayne Wade the following week on national television and open and tap, Kobe went right at him. Got an and one and, and Dwayne Wade's nodding his head. All right, all right, I see what's going on. And they were going at it. And everybody knew what it was. You see, when everybody knows what it was and the challenge, and the challenge is embraced, that's what we want. That's what Giannis did last night. That's what we want to see stars doing. When Devin Booker was talking a little smack to Paul George in the offseason, and Paul George was talking about playing bully ball against him and everybody else, I can't wait to see Devin Booker against Paul George because they've both been chirping. And guess what? They coming at each other because I know Paul George ain't going to back down, and I know Devin Booker ain't going to back down. That's basketball. 
Not all of this quiet, good feel, hugging one another, singing kumbaya to one another, and don't let everybody in on the potential rivalry that exists. Giannis lets you know, I'm here. And, and, and big fella, when Giannis, it ain't going to be that easy to knock me off. Okay? Look at Giannis right there with his rookie stats compared to Wimbignana. 6.8 points to 19.2. 41% shooting to 45% shooting. 4.4 rebounds for Giannis to 10.1 for Wimbignana. Wimbignana is averaging 19-10 with 3.2 blocks per game. You're talking about a David Robinson and Alonzo Mourning and Shaquille O'Neal is the only three guys as rookies, as big men, to ever do those kind of numbers. Wimbignana's doing that now, but Giannis said, I don't give a damn. You're going to have to deal with me. And that is what NBA action is all about. At least it's supposed to be. At least it's supposed to be.